I'll be unboxing <coughs> a lockbuster that I just bought. Well, I'll be opening it. Here we go. Here it is. The lockbuster. Hold on a second. So here is the $219 device that people hesitate to buy. I went ahead and bought it to give it a shot and see if it helps me with my lag. Here is the other side. Gonna go ahead and open it. I guess this is the booklet, manual, instruction manual, so forth. Quick setup instructions. I guess these are manual and app Windows 7 gadget. There's also an app countermeasure. And here it is. Permanent damage may result from another adapter and void your warranty. <coughs> so it's empty. I guess it's pre-tested before it's sent out. And here it is, the log buster. Hold on, just a second, I got one hand. Here's the log buster. Top field, I guess this is the light sensor. Sorry for that. The front, side view. The other I guess this is the bottom view. I'm just trying to cover the um the serial number. Which it's hard to do and show and record at the same time. But here. It has a, uh, I guess I can do it like this. USB, and two Ethernets, and the power. And I guess that's a reset button. I don't know. So I guess that's it. Actually, this is the second one I bought. I got the first one over there. And this is how it looks when it's slack busting. This device is really good. It actually helps with the rubber banding and so forth. If you have a lot of computers or networks, cell phones, tablets, whatever, using a lot of bandwidth, this device helps a lot. I've used my Rado quality of service settings and it helped a little but not as much as this device has all you gotta do is just turn it on and the device does everything like here is the settings for it Here are the settings. I mean, this is it. And with reserve meter. I guess this is my upload in real time. That's the difference with the router's quality of service settings and the lockbuster's ability to measure. 
and reserve bandwidth on the fly. So it's always measuring bandwidth. So let me go ahead and try and do a speed test. And see if the meter moves at all or anything. Yes, it does. It moves in real time. There it is. It's moving. As it's uploading, it's adjusting. It all, there's also a manual lag busting feature which you can port forward, well not port forward but allow it to prioritize other packets for any other device in case you know voice over IP and so forth and I guess this, these are the settings for the brightness on the sensor over there as you can see I can turn it up and it gets brighter over there or I can turn it down and it dims down it gets darker so bright this brightness so yeah that's that right there and there goes the rest the countermeasure so forth well I guess that's it for now if you got any questions just comment below and let me know and I'll try and get back to you if I can